Hi there, I'm the Bruce Dub Dub Two Man, and today I've got another unboxing video for you. So I just got kind of a mini display here as well. So first of all, you might notice I have a my head here with my M38 Fudge and Armory cap, my Fudge and Armory gorget, and I have a holster for my Sauer 38H deactivated pistol. It is. And the reason for that is because in the unboxing, there is something which is related to them. Which I shall now get on unboxing. I'm going to use this knife for it. I don't particularly need to use the knife because it's already been badly ripped in the post. Too. So, these are East German basic restraints. So, what you do is you get the person, put put this around their right, their wrist, twist, put that in like that, twist it around like that, and there's literally nothing the person can do. They're at your control. And they can they can do that. That's it, really. You twist that behind their back, but nothing much they can do. They have two. Looks like they have. Yeah, they have two. <coughs> so yeah, similar sort of. Thing and it's basically exactly the same as the Felgen Armory ones they used during the Second World War, and however this was mainly used with the the Feldjagers, um, to use on escaping prisoners of war, no, and um, escaping deserters basically. <coughs> so there are those, pretty awesome. And so that's why I got the Felton Darmory thing. Because that is now basically completed my Felton Darmory kit. I just need to make a Felton Darm sword boo. And so that's that. Now, here are some other things that I've got from an antique shop. This here is very interesting. The case is a bit damaged. You can see the, where the popper has been ripped off, probably due to use. Because um, after a while the fabric around it will become weak and then it just ripped off when the person was opening it to take the camera out. Here's the camera. It's slightly damaged in the sense that I can't properly get it to pull out. Um, but it's a Kodak um, Kodak, don't know whether you can see this. It's um, a 25T50, no, it's a number two folding automatic, number two folding autographic brownie, and they made them between 1915 and 1925, I believe, or it might be 1926, and they made about half a million of them. So, very interesting. Um, that's a nice little project to see if I can get it to work again. And this can easily just be glued down. That was £15. Not bad, I don't think. I've not opened the back to check anything. Because I've just not had the time. The case is also lovely. It's got no markings on the case. It's a little bit worn away at the bottom. So I've got another case a couple of other cam old camera cases so I might just put it in there if I'm going to use it if I manage to get it to work so yeah just because I don't want to ruin this lovely old 
possibly was linked to the camera case. <coughs> and in here is another thing. I got this from the same antique shop. These, I should say. So this here is a toothbrush holder. So what you do is um, a gentleman would, or just a standard person would have one of these, and they put the toothbrush in. You can see it's got little holes at either end, and that's just to let out any stuff and help like any water inside evaporate so it doesn't fed inside and get nasty so yeah one of my wash kits is missing this so I'll put it in there and I also got myself this which is a cigar cutter um, here and here which also doubles as a razor as far as I understand it because Everready made razors and this is an Everready thing so you you'll put a razor blade in there and that'll be used to cut the cigar or the cigarette or whatever it is you're cutting and then you can pull it out possibly have a shave it'd be like a little portable thing that you could just stick inside your waistcoat it's got a whole load of it's got like a ruler on top as well which is interesting so yeah that was about two pounds I think yeah and this was also two pounds so for 19 pounds I got all of them, which I think is very interesting. I'd probably say this is about 1920s, possibly 30s, and this probably is about the same age. But that we have a definite thing for is 1938, 1918 to 1926. Sorry. And then these are East German, like I said before. However, they are actually exactly the same as the World War II German ones, with hardly any difference really, apart from possibly the quality might have been slightly less uh, when it was made by the East Germans because they were quite pressed on like factories, but the wartime ones made by the Germans might have also been badly produced because they had arguably less supplies. So. Yep. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this hasn't been too long. Comment and subscribe. Bye.